This is last round. This is the last time you're not going to see each other before the fight. So anything you need to mention or say, it's going to be said now. And then we're going to leave it there. The rest is going to happen on the 26th of November. Fight night. Welcome to last round. So guys, are you lot ready for this? Born ready, man. This... Born ready, yeah? Born ready, that's it. More than ready. Yeah? Okay, Forrest. So tell us a bit about yourself. What? Your how, upbringing. How what made you get into this? Yeah, I, I went to school, played uh, a lot of sports from a young age, football. Very athletic. Tried, yeah. Tried, uh, I was good at running, uh, tried rugby, uh, and then I tried boxing and I just fell in love with just hitting someone, really. Huh. As much okay. as getting hit, I quite like getting hit, but you shouldn't get hit. But yeah. I feel like it's the whole, like, uh, it's, the adrenaline. it's the thrill, the adrenaline, like, um, I okay. thrive off that. No, I understand that. So same for you, Ty. What was yeah, your upbringing I got in, like? I got into boxing. My dad was a professional boxer when I was growing up. And then he retired, started his own boxing gym when I was seven. And I've just been in the gym ever since. Yeah. So I just bought up around the gym. Um, I just kind of grew up in the gym, I guess. I don't know any different. I've done it my whole life. So yeah, that's just how I got into boxing. Turned amateur, like 11. And then, yeah, just, that's it. Just been in the gym ever since. I've done different kind of boxing. I did pro years and years ago, like 10, 12 years ago. And then, yeah, I've just been doing unlicensed boxing, man, for the past, what, six years or something? And then, yeah, just, it just went from there. It just kind of was just part of my life, I guess. When was your first fight? When I was 11. You can't box for 11 as an amateur. So I boxed as an amateur at 11. That was my first fight, yeah. Right. You win it? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Won. OK. So when was your first fight, Boris? My first amateur fight was when I was 12. OK. And, uh, yeah, I won my first fight. Yeah. How many fights have you had since then? Um, I've had about 46 amateur wow. fights. Oh, yeah. gosh. So you're yeah. very experienced. I've won quite a few. I've, I've lost a few. Right. But... but you've definitely got the experience. Mm, definitely. How many fights have you had, Ty? Um, about 11. Um, yeah, so the type of boxing I've been doing. There's loads of different ones. I, I Unlicensed, white colour, whatever you want to call it. I've had 11. So how much do you lot both know about each other? Or you don't really know each other? Or you've seen something on his? Or I don't know too much about Ty. Because um, this fight was only made like what I found out two, three weeks ago. So I haven't done much research. Research, but um I think that's better for the mind, I'd say. Yeah. But I've seen that he's is a tall southpaw, rangy, tricky, but I've had I've had that before. Uh fighting amateurs. I've had every every style of fighter I've I've boxed. So it's just another day in the office really. And for you? Um, yeah, like I said, I don't know much about him. I heard he boxed on bounces last thing. So I watched... Uh, and what did you think of that? He knows what he's doing. He's not rubbish, is he? He can fight. He looks like he... Um, From he, a scale of one to ten? What, what like ten's like a Mayweather. So what's, this, what's, the, what's the number? He's nowhere near Mayweather. I ain't. None of us are. I don't know. Like, I don't know how you know with someone. For me, boxing him, I know there's no way he can beat me. He knows what he's doing. He can fight. But come on, his levels to this. The guy that he boxed in his last fight, I wiped him out in a round. He didn't stop him, so that's the difference. Like, you can box these guys, but I box the people at the highest level. I sparred with them. I've been in the ring with them. I know what it takes, and I just can't lose, bro. These like can't beat me, bro. I don't care if it's him, whoever's playing in front of me. They're not beating me. I, my will to win is too much. But I'll ever die, and I'll die in the ring if I have to. And I'm not joking. I'm not just saying that for the cameras. On God, I will die in there, no problem. He ain't beating me in that ring. He's not. He's not got a better skill set than me. He's not quicker than me. So how's he gonna beat me? How do you feel about that, Forrest? I feel exactly the, the, the same, really. We're on the same page. We're both very, very hungry fighters. And I put my life on the line for boxing. And I'm not just copying what he's saying, but I'll die in that ring. Like, I would fight. And even if I'm getting battered, I would fucking get up and I'll carry on fighting. Like, I, I, I want to win. I'm hungry. It's going to be a good fight. We're going to put... It's going to be a good fight. Uh, this question goes to you, Ty. You seem a bit very, like, you know, confident the way you're speaking, the way you've said stuff. What makes you think you've got an easy fight here? Well, it is. The style of fight is tailor-made for someone like me. He's, he comes forward and he likes to have it. And I love people that come forward. If you're coming forward, that's, that's food, that's, that, that, that's music to my ears. Come forward, I'm just going to set you up, 
set a trap for you, you're going to take the bait, I'm going to slip, slip a shot in, next week your legs are going to be wobbly. That's all she wrote. Like you say, my fight record, I've had 12 fights, 12, 11, 11 or 12 fights. I've knocked them all out but one. Forget it. I knock people out, that's what I do. I've been trying to get it in normal size gloves, obviously. He's obviously worried about something because he don't want to fight me in 10-ounce gloves. I don't know why. But if you're that confident in yourself, you should think you're going to knock me out. You should box in 10-ounce gloves. That's what proper boxers fight out. You box in 10 ounces as an amateur. Is there something you're fighting on for us? Well, I'm still young. I'm, I'm just turning over. Um, I mean, Ty's got a few years on, on me and I've still got a long boxing career. So I'm trying to keep my looks. I'm not saying <laughs> that he's going to hit me, but... You know, I'd rather fight with thicker gloves to start off my boxing career because it's all about not getting hit, protecting yourself. But who says I can't knock him out in 12-ounce gloves? I can prove that. So why don't you do it in 10s then? You'd be making your job easier, you know? Even not only that, I don't want to get hit, so... Yeah, but... I shouldn't be able to hit you. You're tough, you come forward, you're dying in the ring, but you don't want to fight with 12s then. <laughs> how confident are you that you're going to beat me? I'm pretty confident. Like, how yeah. confident, though? 10 out of 10. I'm confident so, with every single fight. Right then, so how about this then, yeah? You put up your purse, I'll put up my purse. If you win, I'll give you what I'm getting paid. And if I win, I'll take what you get paid. <laughs> well, that, that, that's, that's a, that is a tricky question. It is a hard question. You don't have to take it either. Because I've asked these people course, to fight that fight before. Course. And it's not, sometimes, look, I don't know your situation. Yeah, yeah. And, some, and if you want to get paid, get paid. I'm not trying to force you into this situation. I'm just asking. I just wanted to see how much you thought you could beat me because I know I'll put up my car, my house, my son, mm. anything because people can't beat me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. No, I understand. Don't even feel forced to take it either. I'm not even trying to pressure you. I'm just saying it's just, that was just something that came into my head. Yeah, and no, obviously you're trying to get in my head with money and stuff. But yeah, like like I'm saying, I'm still young. I've, I probably don't earn as much as you do at the moment, so I can't afford to take that loss. And I mean, even with the money, that will help start off my career and my life. So, I just wait, I'm um, just but yeah, um, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to put 100% into the fight, but yeah, I can't risk to take any losses, but I'm confident, yeah. so you can say what you want to say, like, you're still going to still gonna get the same punishment, so. Not like that, fair enough. All right, so question for you, Forrest. Mm -hmm. So Ty spoke a lot about his style and this is all suited for him. What's your style and what's suited for you about Tyden? So my style, like he said, I'm, I'm aggressive, I come forward. Um, he has a style that's very, you know, long, rangy. Um, and he is southpaw, most likely he'd keep me on the end of the jab. But, I mean, if I take the jab away from him and I get under his skin, like, and I sit on his chest, which I will do because I am fit, I always train hard, then what can you do if I'm constantly in your chest for five, two-minute rounds? What can you do? You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to come find me. I'll meet you in the centre of the ring and have a fight. It's love fest, no problem. Yeah, we can do I that. I need to box and move. I've done many fights where I stand there and have it out because I know that you can't take my punch. No way. That's why you're begging for twelve ounce gloves. I can take shots. I spar heavyweight champions of the world, multiple. They can't drop me. Never been dropped once. And we have it. So you ain't dropping me, especially in twelves. So um, you don't have to. Uh, you won't have to go looking for me, mate. I'll put it straight on you. No problem. We can stand there in the centre of the ring in a form box and have it. No problem. But I can also, I can take shots and I, I don't we'll stop see. coming forward. If you could yeah, take we'll shots, see. you'd want 10-ounce gloves. So tell me, what, what, what round do you reckon is this going to end, end in, guys? I, I, can't, I can't say if I'm going to stop him in the first round or the last round. It, it, like, because with boxing, I, I'll look for a weakness. As soon as he starts puffing, that's when, that's my opening. That's when I'm going to take it. I'm not going to come out swinging and missing and then mm. I give him an open, opening. But... Yeah, as soon as he starts gassing out, then I'll just up the pressure. So he's going to have to gonna deal with my pace. Five two-minute rounds, but he's gassing five two-minute rounds. Yeah, if that's your strategy, you've already flopped that one. It's five two-minute rounds, man. I'll do that fat out of shape, not even training five twos. It just depends when I catch you. I'm going to catch you in the rounds. Um, regardless if you've got a good chin or not, I've spotted. I've done a prize fighter. I was 12 stone nine, and they was all 15 stone. I knocked them all out. So it's nothing to do with I can what this and that. Once they get in the ring with me and they feel the actual power. You already seen on a punch bag today. Both hands setting scores, records. Both hands is not is no is no issue. So once they feel it with twelve ounce gloves on, because you can have heart. You get it wrong. Like you can have heart, but your body's your body. We're human beings. Once you get licked, raw straight in your head top, and your vision's gone, 
you, you, you hurt, do you know what I mean? And I'm relentless, I've got no mercy in there, so. Well, obviously, if you're swinging and you're missing, I'll make you fall off balance. You can't make me miss. You know that, you're not good. What makes you think you're good enough to make me miss? Because I, I don't miss. My, I believe in my own ability. So yeah, I, I, try, I, train to, I train to slip punches, roll punches. The last, the you last, can load the last up on these people big have shots. Out or said the same thing. They believe in yeah, But I'm not like these last eleven people. You've never boxed anyone like me. I'm, I'm hungry and I'm you're young not. and I'm I'm ready. I'm feed, you're not though. So that's saying you can lose before you lose. Yeah, but I fought some of the best amateurs in the country. I've other, I've other, uh, I've drew. I've. Well, you can't draw in boxing, so I've lost against some of the best, but I've always, I've learned and I've come back more hungry. And now, you know, I'm still learning. I mean, I even spar some of the best as well. So, I mean, I've, I've been hit by guys just as big as him. So I, I don't see, it's, it's just, it's just another day in boxing really. But um, he, he thinks he's special, but I don't see him any more special. Do you think you're a special so. type? I don't think I'm special. I just think I'm somebody that's grew up in the gym, worked hard, and I've boxed my whole life, and I'm just better than him, and I'm better than people that I fight. I don't think anybody that I've been in the ring with can beat me. You get it? So that's I never. Mean, every fight is mine. So you, you are true. the best. So I believe you can't beat me. He believes I can't beat him. But all that it ties down to is is on the night. So mm. okay, I enjoy that. I enjoy that one a lot. So there's no hatred between you two. No, you know. Yeah, I don't know him, he's probably a nice guy. Like, first time I met him today, he seems like a nice guy. He's just someone that's pointing in front of me. I've got to take care of. Business as usual. It's, I'm in a lose-lose situation. There's no win for me. If he beats me, like, he's... He, do you Why'd know you mean? say that? Because I'm meant to beat him. Like, to speak about me if How I was... How do you feel about I, that, Forrest? He's meant to beat you. So, obviously, I'm put in as the underdog. So, that makes me, you know, if, if I beat Ty, which I will, then that puts me in the spectrum of someone that's going to be like probably most spoken about. So um, as much as he's a good fighter, I could fight the best in the world. But you're thinking, you know, if I when I beat this guy, you you know, you'll be the best or you beat someone at a good pedigree. So I, I truly believe I, I have to beat this guy. Right. Everything relies on this one then. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's lose-lose for me. I'm meant to beat him. So if I beat him, yeah, he's meant to be like, duh. If I don't beat him, I must be like, hold on a minute, I thought this geezer was meant to be like the next best thing. Like, I'm spoken about by the greatest in the world. And they all say, if he had his poor license, he'd be a world champion. So if I'm not, if I'm losing to this colour of a fighter, it's no disrespect, he's not made a name for himself yet. So if I'm losing to this kind of colour of a fighter, then, do you know what I mean? That's, they're going to see, how are you going to make an approach and even winning now? So it's a lose-lose for me, no matter what I do, it's a lose-lose. I'm okay, getting paid though, so, in, in amateur beliefs. Okay then, guys, I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, final handshake, spud, whatever. Yeah, straight hand. Yeah. It's business. Yeah, man, make sure you come down on the 26th of November. These two are going to be going at it. It's going to be a tense one. Ty believes that he's got a better ability than Forrest. Forrest feels like he's been in this position before. He's had more fights. So he feels like he's going to beat you. We don't know what's going to happen. I can't wait to see it. This has been the last rounds. LV General... Peace.